Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to replace this Toyota Prius cars spark plugs within every 70,000 miles or 90,000 kilometers and this job is important because otherwise uh, our car hesitates to run and it runs badly and acceleration is also bad. Okay, and now when we start this ignition coil and spark plug replace, now I take this spark plug and ignition coil away. There is one, two, three, four. And this job starts so that firstly I have to press this side area and then pull down this electric connector. This is step number one. And then I need this 10 millimeter bolt. Now we can see closer. And this part opens in that side area. Then carefully, in, we can use fingers. And now it opens. And then there is 10 millimeter bolt in here. This is easy to open. Now I use my electric driver, this buster, and this bolt opens. This is specific Toyota's bolt, easy to open. And now this ignition coil is ready, and I can lift that up in this way. And we can also now look this code, because we might have some issue, and that's use always Denso products. And now we can see closer this part and this is really best quality part made in Japan and there is this code number and it is 90919 and then two uh, sorry 02272 and there is this code and we can purchase also aftermarket aftermarket ignition coils but they are normally scrap and they can go broken within one year because and when we compare these original Toyota's parts they can last about 10 to 20 years and now this ignition coil is really free and we can go to look then spark plugs also Okay, and then spark plug replace. And this job and service is, is good to do within every 70,000 miles or 90,000 kilometers. And then your car runs smoothly, it consumes less gasoline and it actually works and gives more power. And this job starts so that firstly we have taken out these ignition coils and then we need some specific tools. We have to purchase this 14 mm longer spark plug socket, 1-4 mm, and then we might need this connector because we need now long extension. These spark plugs are, this length is about 1 feet 30 centimeters. And look, this goes nicely in there. Very, and it goes in this way, very nicely in this position. And then I open the spark plug. Opening direction is in that way. It goes like anti-clockwise. It opens nicely. And now I rotate that spark plug. And this hole is really small and that's use this tin. Okay, now any no anything. Okay, and I I little paint that. 
Okay, and now there is, is this spark plug in here, in this area. And then we go to look that spark plug closer. Okay, and there is really my spark plug. And then when we take this spark plug away, in here, this is really thin spark plug. And there, there is iridium head, really small head in there, and it is not possible to repair or clean. And that's we have to purchase just similar new spark plug. And because this Toyota is so high quality car, and it is hybrid car, it needs just similar spark plug. And best way is to go to visit in Toyota dealership center. And they have in here this Densos spark plug. It is just similar than that one. This is made in Japan. And this cost about 25 US dollars or 25 euros per piece. And this spark plug really last about this 70,000 miles without any issues. And then we go to look closer that what is this spark plug type. It is in here, this uh, below of this denso text, it is FC151. It is maybe 5 or 6 HR and CU9 and Iridium. And then we can look that even closer that what we can see. Okay, and now we can look closer that if we can see better. There is firstly this Denso in here and then FC I think Think that this is 16, then HR, cell C, U, 9, and there is also iridium text, and in that, that area, this metal belt, there is Denso, Japan, And there are some other things, but but this is this information, and this is really really thin these heads. And if you think that you purchase like some champion or boss or any other brands spark plug, don't do that. You have then later issues. Only Denso works 100 plus percently well. Okay, and if you have any issues, go to Toyota dealership center and they will sell these high quality spark plugs to your Toyota. Okay, and then we install that back. Okay, and then this spark plug installation back. This is really sensitive job because if we drop that spark plug in this hard surface, then this spark plug, this small cap in here, can damage and go broken. And this, this, this makes then our engine run even stops or our engine runs badly. And that's this job must to be really carefully. We take that Magnetic, this magnetic socket we can purchase and 14 and then we check that it is tight and in carefully I install that in here. And, and carefully it goes down and then I little bit bend this surface and everything is fine. I bend that and then I rotate that in my fingers. And be also carefully 
that you don't drop anything in this hole. No any sand. And remember, this spark plugs, this rotation time was long. As we can see, about 50 turns. And now it stops. It stops in here. And then I can fasten and tight the spark back about 10, 20 newton meters force in that way. Do not over tight because if we broke this spark plug, then we have really big issue. And now it is in position, excellent. And then I carefully lift these things down. And remember that if your socket is in this area, then you need big pliers. But in my case, everything went fine. And then I can install this my ignition coil back. And then this ignition coil installation back. This goes nicely in that face. And then I press that down. And there is this locking bolt, what goes nicely. And I can use my hand or electric, electric driver. And then I tight this bolt about 20 newton meters force. 10 to 20. Now, now it's well, excellent. And the final part is to install this ignition coil connector back and listen to sound in that way. Good. And we can look that connector sound again.